There we go. Right. So first of all, do you all have good luck? Yeah. Right. So we just like so that you can play in the back. Mindfulness. Can't hear Mindfulness. Can't hear Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give me that one. Right, so um basically what I'd just like you to do right now is just sit in a comfortable manner, whatever's right for you. And you can either go through this process with your eyes open, your eyes closed, whatever's comfortable or suitable for you, just as long as you're relaxed. Now, you'd all like to do something for me. You'd just like to put your hands out, however's comfortable for you. So, if you can do something for me, I'd like to find out whether you go into a nice hypnotic state with your hands moving apart, or go into even more of a relaxed hypnotic state with them moving together, or whether they're staying as they are. And I don't know whether you can become more comfortable breathing in, or breathing out. I wonder whether you will start to relax as I continue talking, or whether the gaps between my words will help you relax more. You can feel your hands at this time, can you not? Do you think your right hand will feel warmer than your left? or your left hand feel warmer than your right. And as you feel that, I wonder if you prefer to go to some special place that you can imagine, or a very comfortable place in your future. And you can wonder whether this happens now, or in a few moments. You can be aware of some experience not know that it's there, or you can know something is different and not be aware of what it is. Your hand can move, and you don't have to know that it's your hand. You can know you have a hand and not know how it's moving, and those hands can move all by themselves. don't even have to know that it is happening. Your conscious mind can think of something different whilst your unconscious mind listens without you having to listen. And I don't know whether you will discover your right hand lifting or your left hand moving before you notice it. I wonder which time, just allow yourself to come back to the room as slow or as fast as is comfortable for you. Okay? Hi, everyone. <laughs> some kind of subjective experience of what happened for people there? I could feel my hands moving. Mm -hmm. I knew what you were doing. That's why I was with people. Mm -hmm. Anything else? My arms felt, felt a bit trembly when I put them out and it was uncomfortable. <coughs> so I, I pulled mine in. Mm -hmm. And then as you were talking further, I just wanted to relax. And then when you were saying the bit about the hands moving up or down, my hands were like this at that point, but my right hand started to twitch mm -hmm. when you were saying that. So even though I didn't have my hands out, 
connected to each other too. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Anyone else? I thought the house where you probably make the micro movement that micro movements but they felt quite big to me. Mm. I had to bring my arms down because it was sore in my neck and shoulders, but the voice was really relaxing. Mm. Mm. I had to felt warm from the warmth of my arms, mm. which kept them up. When you said about the hand, my neck kind of dropped. Awesome, yeah. Okay, so is there anything else anyone wants to share about that? I just talk about everything you suggested, whatever you suggested. It's like, thank God you didn't go, <coughs> go over the board with what you're suggesting. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> okay, so basically I wanted to give you an experience, obviously a hypnotic one, of a language pattern of double binds. Now, for those who have done the hypnotherapy course, we all know there are so many different techniques to induce trance or to get phenomena. I just wanted to show you what double binds on their own can do. It wasn't just straight double binds, though. No, yeah. it wasn't a basic straight double bind as in will you do your homework before or after you have a bath? So there are more complex type of double binds, various different types and cases in that, that are designed to distract the conscious mind whilst giving messages to the unconscious mind, almost in the same way as Martin's not not pattern. So I decided to model these types of double binds on a hypnotherapist because I found them particularly interesting myself and I've realized the power of them, and I wanted to just share that with you today. So what I managed to basically break it down to is this formula, which I'll go through explaining to you now. So the key thing about double binds is they can be used for anything. They can be used in almost any sense that you can think of. They're only outcome dependent. So the first step is to think of your outcome. So in the last double bind that I delivered, you can discover your right hand moving by itself or your left hand lifting without you noticing it. My outcome for that was I wanted one of your hands to move. I didn't care which, I didn't care how. It's just long as it moved. So once you have your outcome, so the moving of hands, you have to think of a way of presenting it to the conscious mind and then to the unconscious mind. So for that, you can lift your hand. If you know you're lifting your hand, it's completely conscious. If you find your hand moving before you notice it, it's not a conscious act, it's based at the unconscious level. The particular type that I've modeled sends two messages to the conscious mind, which is C and E, two to the subconscious mind, which is C and D. So to the conscious mind, we could say in this particular example, you can lift your hands, and the other one can be, you can find your hand moving. Now, both of those are conscious because you're consciously finding your hand moving or you're consciously lifting your hand. So you can plug both of those in, I'll explain more how in a moment. In the unconscious, that would be finding your hand lifting the conscious part before you notice it. So you can apply that to both sides. So the formula basically works along the idea of you have a modal operator, so you can, you will, you may, will you, basically any kind of action, which essentially softens how it is delivered. Because each one of these is delivered in the form of an embedded command. For those of you who don't know what an embedded command is, it is basically just a flat command. If you say to your child, go to bed, that is a command. What makes it embedded is just putting it into some kind of context, and that's what the modal operator does. So what you have here is you can say, you can, see, the conscious, move your hand, see, and not know that it's moving, or, making it a double bind, A again, modal operator, you can. 
hand, find your hand moving, I have to write it here, that you can find your hand moving before you notice it. Now I know it's not a very clear way of explaining it, I still have much more work to do on this modeling project. And I'd like to just at this point kind of throw it out to the floor. More questions has anyone got? I think it is very clear. Yeah. Yeah. Very I clear. Yeah. I, I love the fact that you've, you've analysed it down into sort yeah. of an equation here. Yeah. Me too. Um, which is, yeah, you know, I think that's a really useful way of looking at things. I didn't get it at first, and then when you get it and you talk us through the A, B, and B part, that very, very clear. And I get it. The process of modelling is uh, the hypnotist I modelled, Stephen Brooks. He did a full induction just using double binds. So I wrote out an entire transcript of it and then started using all the language techniques we learned from practitioner. Um, things like modal operators, etc., etc., embedded commands. I started picking apart the actual transcript itself and the patterns that started to form. That all he was really doing was giving embedded commands but all they were were just encased within some kind of other message. Stephen did something as simple as saying, you can. So are there other ways that you can use this formula outside of the realm of hypnotherapy? Yeah. Um, can you think of an example where you'd use it? Say so business. What outcome would you have in business? Um, let's say it's to make more sales. To make more sales? Yeah. So you can. One second. You can buy this product and not know quite how you're going to use it. Or you can find yourself needing this product, knowing that you'll use it at some point in the future. Oh. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. What a great model yeah. that can be used in, in many contexts. Yeah, just the use of language, but uh, awesome. And that was, that was quite a challenge for the that beginning. Was, yeah. That yeah. was, yeah. That, yeah. Mm. You were, you, were, you, were on the, you were on the cusp there, weren't you? <laughs> 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 you did it, and it, and it for me for me i've i've heard this before but i've never understood it until now so yeah, you've done a yeah. really good job really good job thank you is there any other questions or so when are you taking over from steve <laughs> 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 did, did you, you said you, you, you had a long way to go. What's the what's the next step? Okay, so the particular type of double bind here, um, after looking into the types of double binds, this is called a double dissociation double bind, which means that it creates a, dis a dissociation between the conscious and the unconscious mind, but does it twice. Up until that point, we start with, we can start with basic binds which would be, would you like tea or coffee? And the trouble with that, even though how come you want someone to have a drink, would you like tea or coffee? Do you want to pay with cash or check? That's a real kind of conscious upfront level. Beyond that, you go into double binds. Now an example of that was, will it be your left hand feeling warmer or your right hand feeling warmer? Double binds come through at an unconscious level, i.e. you have to send signals down your arms feel which is warmer, that then gets provided back to you again, and you go, oh, this one's warmer. Beyond that, you get conscious, unconscious double binds, which would be, you can consciously know what's going on, or your unconscious can listen to something else happening. So there you're just creating that first association between a conscious and unconscious double bind. Then you have the double dissociation double bind. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, an example of which one? 
the last one. <laughs> An example would be to say a memory regression. You could say um, you can return to a pleasant memory, forgetting the future as it passes, or find yourself already in the memory, knowing that the future is occurring. Wow. Everyone confuses me. I know they're meant to, but it's like. <laughs> But well, that's, that's, that's the entire process. Uh, the idea is to confuse the conscious mind so that it goes, I don't really know what's going on. And then the embedded it commands works. give it solid suggestions. And as we all know, when we're in a confused state, if someone says, look, just go do this, you know. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Can, I, can, I, can, I, can I add a thought to issue with from a piece of paper? Uh, because I hadn't memorized um, all of the double binds that I'd written down. Okay. Um, it was work that I'd done this week on actually presenting it, um, I was given a bit of help of actually how to actually, I had the formula, I had it all worked out, but I was fortunately given the advice to actually, you know, give an experience out. Okay. Can I just give them some feedback? Um, yeah. I think you've got a very relaxed and engaging way of presenting, and not just from today, but also today, so you, are, you have a real skill in explaining extremely difficult complexes in a way that's understandable, that's a real yeah. skill. Yeah. Were you pleased with the experiment that you did? Did we do? Were we doing what you expected? Um, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, uh, Wendy had a lovely kind of arm levitation going on there. You had about a foot <laughs> between your between your arms at some stage, but the very fact that most of you, as far as I could tell, were in a trance-like experience, mm -hmm. and as Nadia said, she felt only micro-muscle movements. So for one person, they could get an experience of a separation like that. They may just get a small movement, but to that person, it may seem like a large movement. Mm -hmm. The thing is that's important about it is not to try and base what you expect to happen, just allow them to have the subjective experience because they'll have the experience that's right for them. I would because it was a wonderful test. It was a live tote, wasn't it? I was just wondering if your tote worked for you and you exited. Oh, yes. yes, yeah, yeah, it Good. worked fantastically for me. Yeah. Cool. Was there, have you seen this equation before? Anybody uh, done this an equation or anything? No. Okay. I've got a genius. Absolutely genius. If you could do that for all the binds from beginning for me. <laughs> 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 Well, you've got yourself a book, haven't you? Trademark it and sell it to Toby. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, that's part of my value uh, offering. I'm going to be basically breaking them down from a bind level, and then they actually go on beyond really this good. level onto double, double unconscious, conscious, double dissociation, double binds. But I, that was a bit... <laughs> that that was quite hard so to model. Um, an example of that would be I don't know how much you know about me knowing about you wanting to, or maybe not, discovering whether you can have tea now or later, <laughs> or whether you'd prefer to wait a few moments before you discover that you knew it before that you knew it. I think they, I, I honestly think the bind world has found a new star. <laughs> 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 got a way about you, it's like a confidence and a, and even though you said that you'd written some things down and you didn't know how you were going to, mm. you'd never have known that because for mm. me, you've just been Partly confident. because I asked you to close your eyes. So. Very <laughs> clever. <laughs> Very clever. Whatever your planning was behind it worked. <laughs> That's Great. posture and state yeah. now. Keep that earlier as well because yeah. it's interesting, we all do it when you get nervous, things happen that you've got no control over physically. So you've got very cute little skin tone of blushes. 
that's where everybody should have come back now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it is, I, the reason I noticed it is because I get them. Um, and, and I've got to try and consciously or subconsciously stop that from happening. So try and anchor a state where when I know that isn't happening because you can sometimes feel it. Right, yeah. But th they're just now when you're laughing and you're with them that we love, it, it just comes across very concrete. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And I wonder, we, we've just had a, the lucky um, experience of having Crown House Publishing come to us to publish our book. And we've got to do, we've got to write new parts to it for that to happen. I wonder if we could include a section reference to you, your stuff, um, and your websites, and, and all all about you, but on this, because yeah. if you you can you know if you can convert it into a code like that, I think that's that's genius. genius. It is genius. really genius. is genius. I, I couldn't do that. So if you'd be willing, you don't yeah. have to answer now, but yeah, maybe there's more. something. <laughs> <in there>. <laughs> 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 you get free coffee. That's what <laughs> Speaking as his agent. <laughs> 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 <laughs>